Good afternoon, everybody. Um, on behalf of the Government of Canada today, I would like to announce an additional approximately $15 million worth of military aid for Ukraine. This will consist of approximately $15 million worth of aid for winter equipment purchases. Hats, gloves, boots, parkas, the items that Ukrainian soldiers need on the front lines will be purchased by the Government of Canada, primarily from Canadian suppliers. Secondly, an additional $15 million for the purchase of cameras for drones. We have already supplied Ukraine with over 50 cameras for drones made by Canadian supplier, and we will continue to supply such cameras for drones. Thirdly, in the area of communications services and satellite services, we will supply Ukraine with another $2 million uh, for satellite services. And in partnership with Telesat, this will enable Ukraine to continue to communicate effectively with European and North American partners. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it's a historic moment. Finland is participating first time as an invitee to this ministerial meeting of different ministers of, of NATO. Uh, of course, looking forward to become a full member of NATO soon. This process has been processed quite well so far. We have uh, 28 out of 30 ratifications. Thank you for all the support we've got already and uh, of course we hope that uh, the missing two we will get those ratifications as soon as possible, the sooner the better. Uh, I think we uh, always have to take it very seriously and at the same time to mark that this nuclear rhetoric is unacceptable, uh, it's dangerous uh, and we have to stay very calm uh, in our response to it. Well, I, 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 we are all aware that air defense is extremely important for Ukraine, especially uh, when you see these atta attacks on Kiev and other cities, on civilian infrastructure with civilian uh, casualties. Uh, we condemn it in the strongest terms. So we feel it's important to continue our support, and that means also support uh, in the air defense.